Hey guys, Rachel here, Rachel Kelly here with my son Cassius Kelly over there hanging out at the library and I want to show you this quick video on how to move the needle forward in your life, right? So, I mean, and you can use this technique in either your life or your business, right? So, for your life, in fact, I like, I, I'm going to use business examples since I'm in here with my son and we're working on some business things, but the same applies to your life. All you got to do is ask yourself one question. What one thing can I do today to help me move the needle forward? Whether it's life or business, what one thing can I do to move the needle forward? And so... Um, we've we've hired um, like virtual assistants and individuals to do some work for us in the past. Um, some experiences were good and some were not so good. And so yesterday, was yesterday Monday? Was yesterday when we had our meeting? Yesterday, um, <clears throat> we always have our meetings on Monday. Monday, um, after I come back from the prayer room, we'll, we'll have a meeting on, you know, how are we going to move this business forward? And so um, as we were meeting, the one thing that we said it was to hire a virtual assistant, right? So we went over to Upwork and I'm gonna encourage you to do the same thing, go over to Upwork, right? And and have a job description, put that job description inside of Upwork and you're gonna get some people to respond to your um, ad. Now it used to be, the way I used to do it was I, I would have them like click a link and they would kind of like follow through. Now you have to individually send them a message and I do have a script that I use in order to, um, you know, it's like just kind of like send them the, the message. And they, then we go <coughs> over to our Google Forms and we create a form that they fill out. And based on who has the best internet speed, because you don't want to pay them um, if their internet speed is lousy. You don't want to pay them for that. And then we also wanted to look at your typing speed. If you have a job that requires typing, you don't want to pay them if they're slow typers, right? You want somebody who can type. So these are things that you want to look at. And so what you do is you kind of give them like, you can have, you can create a form and have them go over and take the typing tasks and take um, internet speed tasks. And that gives you an opportunity to, to see what kind of candidate you're working with and how quickly your work is going to get done, how slow it's going to get done. So those are things that you can do. If you have like research, something you can put like a test in. So like for example, what we did was we had them to go and find a couple items, um, like do product research and, you know, okay, go over to Walmart and find, you know, something that's the cost that's over here that can sell over Amazon. So based on the results that we got, those are the people that we have interviewed. So I'm in here now and just finished interviewing one of the guys. He looks like a really good kind of candidate. Actually, he has a lot more skills than what we were looking for, but this right here is a good start mm -hmm. so what I want to do is I want to encourage you that um, a lot of times we lack confidence that's why we don't hire people or we don't move the needle forward in our business so I want to encourage you to go over to my blog at rachelkelly.com grab my confidence building activities so that you can have the confidence no matter what it is that you're trying to do in your life or in your business so that you can have the confidence to take the steps that you need to do in order to move the needle forward in your business, in your life. Love you all. We'll see you on the next live video. Peace out. You want to say peace out? <laughs> Take care, guys. God bless. Bye-bye.